Hey guys, I'm Megan. I'm a carpenter and a remodeler. Today, I'm gonna teach you how to design a fence. Before you lay out your fence, contact your city and print out your building codes. The last thing to remember is to call your local utility companies and have them lay out all of your underground lines before you start digging. Now let's talk about a couple different styles of fence. I picked up a few panels here to give you a better idea of different styles that you can have in your yard. These two options here are your privacy panels, but be careful in what city you live in, because my city doesn't allow full privacy panels. They allow shadow boxes, which are alternating panel systems that you put in piece by piece, and you can see diagonally through them. Chainlink is another great option for keeping your pets safe. These three we have here are your decorative picket style fence. When you're talking about material, wood is obviously the most traditional. It just needs to be stained or painted periodically. It can be put together as a panel system where it steps up the slope of your yard or as a component system, which is board by board and it kind of follows the slope of your yard. Vinyl is a great option. All you have to do is rinse it down and it doesn't rot or fade. Metal is also a great option because all you have to do is spray paint it every so often. No matter what fence style you pick, make sure you start your layout with string and batter boards. I'm just kind of eyeballing where this goes. Batter boards are just made out of furring strips. And then this allows you to move your string line back and forth. This one again, I'm just eyeballing off the house there. After you do that, you want to make sure your string line is six inches off of your property line. So I'm just going to pull some extra around and cut it off. And kind of eyeball six inches off of our stake right there. And if I need to, I can move it around after I measure. So just take your tape. There you go, six inches. So now I'm gonna pull the other string from that side to this batter board. Give it a little knot. Kind of adjust it so it's close to your line. You can go back and do some fine tuning later. And just like before, I'm gonna give a little slack here. Cut off the excess and tie it tight. Continue running the strings around the whole fence layout. Now we'll pull for square and find this corner right here, this right angle. You're gonna measure down this line three feet. There you go, and make a mark. Measure down this line four feet. Make another mark. And then your diagonal in between those two marks should be five feet. And if they're not, just adjust your string line on the batter board to either close or open your angle a little bit more. And remember, a little bit goes a long way with that. That looks good. Also, when installing off the corner of a house, remember to account for rails and pickets. The posts will be set back a few inches from the edge of the house. And when setting posts for panels or gates, remember to account for the hardware. I've started marking my post holes here. I've already put a stake in the ground and I'm gonna use that to pull my tape measure off of. I'm gonna pull off eight feet and I'm gonna make sure that my tape measure is level. Don't follow the slope of the ground or else it'll give you an inaccurate measurement. So I'm gonna place my stake at eight feet, and then I'm gonna eyeball half the thickness of my post. Don't put the stake directly next to your line or under it. Now you can just continue on down the line. Typical post spacing is between six and eight feet. Local code will determine post hole size. The depth should be below the frost line to prevent heaving and the diameter is typically about three times the width of the post. After your fence line is laid out, mark the batter boards and remove the strings to dig. 
Next to the house, use a spade, post hole digger, and a digging bar. For other holes, a power auger makes digging much easier and faster. Once all your holes are dug, you can start setting your posts. To see how to build a wood or chain link fence, check out our other videos. And for more great ideas and how-tos, go to lowes.com slash how-to.